So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use make.com to pretty much uh, play around with your emails and Gmail or whatever email platform that you're using categorize it into uh, maybe different folders that you might have preset in your email and pretty much just have emails get ran through ChatGPT with custom prompts um, and pretty much have an email agent working inside of your email account. So with that all being said, why automate email? Um, basically guys, we all know that we get way too many uh, emails via um, <laughs> from random people, sales, scam, whatever. So you can pretty much use this method to take out all of the bad stuff, uh, put important stuff or keywords into your main box, um, and pretty much have ChatGPT analyze emails and put them in places for you so you can be more organized, more efficient, and pretty much have a better system for your email management, okay? So pretty much like a virtual assistant. Okay, and then um, if you guys are not familiar with make.com, make.com is pretty much an automation software, no code automation software where you can pretty much automate anything using API keys. Um, and uh, yeah, pretty cool software. That's what we're gonna be building the workflow on today. And then again, what you'll learn is you're gonna connect uh, Gmail to make.com, scan incoming emails, use ChatGPT to classify and auto label emails, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop in to make.com and just show you guys the actual um, scenario that we're gonna be running through. As you guys see, I have it on. And it's a very, very basic scenario. Uh, this has actually been built on, on a lot of other uh, YouTube uh, accounts that I've seen. Um, so yeah, it's very basic. And essentially what we're doing is we're gonna start this entire uh, system with just connecting email what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to kind of give you guys an idea of kind of how it looks like with one of my real estate email addresses so you can get an idea. And as you can see, they're tagged in different folders automatically. So, you know, let's say that um, you want to categorize uh, people that come in that might be potential deals. You could, you know, categorize emails that come in as wholesale properties, as sellers, finished deals, current deals. I just started setting this up. It's already working. It's already tagging these emails the way that they should. And yeah, it's it's pretty much an automated system that that does. And you guys will need to probably come in here and make some minor adjustments and tweak it so that it flows a little bit better and flows a little bit more perfectly. Um, since I just set this up, there's still little kinks that we need to play around with in terms of the um, prompts that we're uh, applying to ChatGPT. But with that all being said, let's just kind of get right into the build. So basically, guys, you're pretty much just attaching Gmail. You're going to uh, use a filter type called a si uh, simple filter, okay? And you're just going to say all emails. Now, you can pick what emails you want to actually use and classify. That's the great thing about make.com. This can be completely customizable. Um, and then you can say, hey, every 15 minutes, you know, go ahead and pull a maximum of 30. I doubt you guys are getting more than 30 emails per 15 minutes. Um, so I just set it as 30 just in case there was some sort of bug or some sort of tweak that uh, was giving me issues within make.com or I'm sorry, my emails because sometimes these things can have issues. And that's pretty much it, guys. Set up your email account, you know, pretty much put the folder as all the mail that comes in through your email addresses, um, set it as all emails and we're good to go. Now, this is where it's going to get a little bit um a little bit more complicated. So once you connect ChatGPT, if you haven't already, you are going to need to connect via their API tokens. You're going to have to pay for this on the back end. Very, very cheap. They don't charge a lot of money per tokens, but you know it is something you need to keep in mind. And I'm actually going to be using the latest version. We're going to be using 4.0 uh, for this video. So that is the one that I have chosen. And uh, yeah, just connect it via API. I have another tutorial video on how you can do that on the YouTube channel. I'll put the link down in the description. And we're going to set up a developer slash system. And this is this is essentially us just telling the model who you are, what you're doing, you know, what your main tasks are. And we're just pretty much saying you are an email classifier assistant based on the content of this email. Assign one of the following labels, okay? So then as the user, we're going to go ahead and directly tell them exactly what we want in terms of each label. So you will need to pre-create these labels in the actual Gmail app before you uh, throw it through this funnel or this automation. Um, but uh, so that way you already have an idea of where they're going to, okay? Because this isn't actually create new 
categories. All it really does is uh, tell you know uh, Gmail where to actually direct this email in terms of what folders folders are already uh, available. Okay, so I have it set as sellers, wholesale properties. Um, I have it as deals also is in here. Okay, and then I also have, um, yeah, I'm sorry, I have deals, sellers, wholesale properties, uh, and other. Okay, so I'm a pretty much what you're pretty much going to do is just tell them, hey, look, emails that have anything to do with real estate transactions under any contract, uh, typically involving title companies, signed contracts, or your team members, um, you know, this is who we want to label as deals. Then we're going to give an example of sellers. Sellers, emails where we are speaking directly to a seller about their property, sending company information. Okay, then, then now wholesale properties. Emails from wholesalers or agents sending property listings for sale. Usually includes words like new wholesale properties, has a list of properties that are for sale and off market. Okay, now you guys can do this any way you want. Okay, this is just an example, um, you know, and, and the more information you give it, the more specific you give it, the better it's going to operate. It's kind of like, you know, coding in a way. Um, prompting is very, very important for the, these ChatGPT models because the more you understand how to explain it to them, the more information you give it to them, the better you can train this model uh, and the better it will perform, okay? So I actually already have been kind of playing around this. I set this up literally a couple days ago, just, just briefly, so I'm still making adjustments and I'm seeing that sometimes they're getting it mixed up with deals and wholesale properties. So as that happens, I will add more to this language so that it can do a better job of classifying it. And guys, there's no way to just set this up one time and done and not have any potential problems. Um, because you're going to realize that it might accidentally put it in different folders based on the information you provide. So you just have to be very, very specific. And again, if you see these problems occur, you can go back in here and pretty much make adjustments, add more information, and make it flow a little bit better. Okay? So once we do that, okay, um, you're also going to, you know, you're pretty much saying like, hey, based on the content of this email, assign to the following labels, go ahead and give all those different potential labels. Only reply uh, with one of the following labels. This is important. You don't want it to, you know, label two or three or four different at the same time. Um, and, and do not explain your reasoning. All we pretty much want to do is just give it that. Like, just output the actual either wholesale properties, other sellers, or deals. Um, and then you're going to read the email context. So if you're familiar with make.com or if you're not, once this scans, it'll spit out information of one potential email, and then you'll be able to go in here and link the potential email that it scanned from the original email. So if you don't have this option yet, what you'll need to do is you'll need to process it, run it once, let this little check mark up here go green, uh, and then you'll be set, okay? So once we've done that, um, we can now jump into a router. And what the router will do is pretty much read the information that was provided and then route it to the correct, uh, you know, final um, go or, 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 or folder that it wants to provide or task that it is being assigned. You literally just add a router. You don't need to, um, you know, you don't need to... Um, do anything but add the router, and then you're going to want to search for Gmail modifi modify email labels. And then you're, what you're going to do is you're going to connect the email message ID, which will uh, which which should pop up based on this scan right here. And uh, make sure that you are checking email message ID. I made the mistake of clicking this message ID, and it was not working. So make sure you're selecting the email message ID. Um, and then you're going to um, go, then, uh, then what you're going to do is you're just going to select what label you want it to label. So for me, this one is deals. You're going to do the same for all three of these. Um, and then that's pretty much it, guys. It's a very, very simple automation. The only other final uh, caveat and step is you need to create a filter. And the filter, you're going to label it, you know, the name of whatever filter that you're going to provide. You're going to put in the condition. So we're going to put the condition, the results from ChatGPT. And then we're going to say if it's equal to this verbiage right here, you're good to go. If it's not, don't proceed. So pretty much what that's doing is, um, you know, you're sending all the information into this router. This router would technically send it to all of these emails, but we're putting a 
filter on each individual email and pretty much just saying, hey, um, if it matches the output of you know uh, ChatGPT on that specific email is wholesale properties, it'll shoot it to that. If it's sellers, it'll shoot it to that. And if it's deals, it will shoot it to that. And guys, this is pretty much it. It's a very, very simple uh, make.com automation. If you guys want me to go in more details, put it down in the comments below. But this is just an example of how you can have an agent working in your Gmail and cleaning up your inbox. And really the ideas are countless, okay? Because you could literally have it um, auto, you know, auto organize spam. You can have it auto organize, um, you know, specific categories of, 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 of deals or, or, you know, work related emails into one specific uh, folder so that when you log into your email, all of it's already categorized, or at least it's already started. And hopefully you can get it to a point where it's at a pretty good response, or a, it's doing a pretty good job so that there's not too many mistakes. Okay. Um, so yeah, look, this is just a couple more examples of what you can use this for. You could use it as, you know, client inquiries, putting them into the client inquiries. You can, you know, put them as urgent messages, invoices, leads. And guys, the cool thing is too, is that after you get that done, you can actually set up another automation within make.com. So let's say hypothetically it does make it to here. Well, then we can say, hey, once it gets into my lead platform, I want it to text me. I want it to, I, I want you to text me. I want you to notify me uh, in another way through another platform. I want you to push this information into a CRM. So really the automations are countless of what you can do with this software. And this is just the base starting uh, you know, uh, tree pretty much. And after you kind of understand this and get into it, you can really customize this to your business, okay? Uh, and yeah, you're gonna save a lot of time doing this. Um, you're gonna prioritize email visibility, have it cleaner, have it more efficient. And that's pretty much it, guys. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave me a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. And if you guys like AI automation, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, Automation Syndicate. As always, guys, Peace out.